Hello and welcome to this edition of the Angels of Destiny show. Why is this show called this, you may ask, so I tell you. They accepted me in the Angels Messenger and they accepted me in the Destiny is to make firm establish. So my guests and I bring you messages to establish what you need to know in the present. And also I like working with angels and the calmness they bring. I would like to thank you all for watching the show live at a later date. It means a lot to me to connect with like-minded women. So please feel free to share as you never know who this may help. Now, if you've never met me before, then my name is Ray, and I love to help women to crossroads in their life, heal their past, create their future, transform the present, so they can take control of their destiny in the here and now. I'm the founder of Radiant Angel Energy, and I use future life progression, past life regression, meditation, angelic reiki, angel cards, and hypnosis to help women who feel lost get clear on their destiny. Um, I've also created a transformational journey to help you. Now, each episode of this show will cover various themes of your journey, a mini guided meditation or angel card reading, normally with the wisdom of my wonderful guests, the angels and myself. So before we get into this fascinating, fascinating conversation, I want to remind you that you can also ask questions, leave comments and thoughts as I want you to be part of this conversation. So please don't be shy. Now, although this is a recording, it is going out live and I will be watching it live. So I will be able to answer any questions or comments that you might make. Um, so please say hello and I'll try to say hello to everyone and answer any questions or comments whilst the show's um, going out live um, or once the show's finished. And if you're watching this on my YouTube channel, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you can get updates on all future recordings. So past life regression what is past life regression um there are various interpretations that people have come up with over the over the years but all have the same fundamental agreement that it's lives that we have had before this life this incarnation that we are in now and um, there are many religions who um have this uh who, who believe in past life regression um, as part of as part of their practice, um, as well as lots of scientific evidence about past lives. Um, you know, Brian um, L. Weiss. You know, lots of documented stuff about past life regression. Some people think of it as karma, and that you keep repeating the same things until you learn from it. Um, me personally, I like to think of past life regression as a journey and learning experience. So that every past life that you have had is a chance for you to learn, grow from, so that you can move on to your next lifetime, so that you can get to the point where you no longer have to come back to Earth or to be in any living form apart from energy. So you go back to heaven, universal, sky, whatever you want to, to call it. Um, so to me, that, that, is, that is past life um, re regression, how I, how I see it. So past life regression is something that majority of people, or past lives are something that majority of people have had. A lot of the, um, or some of the children being born now, crystal children, have not any past lives on this planet or other planets. They're just pure energy they've come straight in, which is why they have issues understanding and being this in this world, and you know, and having tolerance allergies to lots of the chemicals and stuff and the noise and everything that we have in this in this lifetime. But the majority of people have had past lives, whether that's on Earth or on other planets or in other dimensions. So that includes star seeds, you know, would have had previous lives on other planets. Walk-ins would have had previous lives. And the past, the walk-ins and star seeds are a topic for another, for, an, for another day. So past life regression can be, as I said, something in this lifetime, 100, 200, 300 years ago. And the way I like to use past life regression is to take people back to a past life that is affecting them in the moment. So um, the most 
obvious recorded ones um, that people have are people who are afraid of planes and flying. And when they've had past, you know, there's nothing in this lifetime, you know, they've not watched any films, their parents are okay with flying, you know. So there's no reasons or traumas in this lifetime that would affect them for fear of flying. But if they, but when they've been taken back in time, they've either been fighter pilots who have died in planes or they've died in air raids. So that's kind of like why they have an issue with flying in this lifetime. And quite often when they've gone back to those lifetimes and they've understood why these things happened and forgiveness and learning from it, when they come back to this lifetime, they actually find they no longer have a fear of flying. So amazing to think that you can go back and see something in the past, learn from it, heal from it, maybe forgive it. And then it doesn't affect you anymore in the present and you can get on with your life. You know, how wonderful is that? And an example of that from my own personal experience is that it's horses. And some of you may have heard this before. I've always liked horses, but I have was always a bit nervous around them, a little bit wary um, about being with them. Um, and many years ago, um, I went on a caravan uh, trip with the next partner, uh, one of those gypsy caravans with the horse. And it was fine. I couldn't actually sit um, in, in the caravan and drive the horse. I was quite happy walking by the horse. It kind of like in the back of my brain, it's like, if that horse does anything, I can run out of the way. Um, strange thought to have. I'd left my ex trying to do it, but that, that's neither here nor there. Um, so I was wary about the horse the whole weekend we had it. Now, when we got back to take the caravan back, how it happened, I don't know, but I got caught between the horse and a bar. And um, basically that the horse was coming towards me and there was no way out for me. There was nothing I could escape under. I was, I could have been, basically that horse was coming towards me and I could have been crushed or squished by the horse. And it was only the strength of my ex-partner and the guy that pulled the horse away. Um, and I was okay, a bit shaken up, but it was okay. So you can imagine my nervousness around horses increased a little bit more. But then several years later, when I really started going to past lives, I actually went into um, my past lives. And several times in past lives, I have actually been killed by a horse. I have been run over by horses. I've been squashed by horses. Um, so, you know, so I've, ha I've had a bit of a issue with horses in the past. But by me going back and learning about those and knowing that they were accidents, you know, they were things that had happened, you know, forgiving the horses for doing it, forgiving myself for being crushed by horses, that those have forced me to be crushed by horses, changed my attitude or my overall acceptance of horses. And I'm a lot more happy being around them. You know, I don't have those subconscious fears and the horses don't have that kind of like where wariness about me because of the energy they're picking up and this helped me immensely because several years ago um so this is after I'd learned about my issue with past with horses in the past I got the chance to go to Egypt um with the healing animal organization to um work at the um, Animal Care Egypt in Luxor, brilliant charity who um, help look after the horses, the donkeys, all the animals, and educate the Egyptians on looking after their animals, the best care for the best care for their animals, you know, and training vets go out there to do their practice, really brilliant charity. And I was going out to do angelic Reiki healing on the animal healers, not to do healing on the animals. You know, that was the animal healers were doing that. I was to do it on the here. I was doing the healers because obviously, if you're healing the animals, especially out there, there's some pretty horrific things that that you that you can see. But anyway, there was this horse there um, that was dying, 
everyone knew that the horse was dying but the horse would not lay down um, and one of the uh, ladies uh, animal healers you know took a shine to this horse and you know was doing as much healing anyway a few days into the trip um, she came up to me and said Ray would you mind doing some angelic crakey on this horse now with animals um, quite often you can do distance healing because with angelic crakey you have your eyes closed when you've got your hands on the animal but it felt that I needed to actually be up close and personal with this horse now if I hadn't known about my past life issues with horses I would not have had the confidence or the energy about me to, for that horse to be relaxed when I actually went to put my hands on the horse and close my eyes you know I had complete trust in that horse when I was doing the healing and it was one of the most amazing healings I have ever done um, I just I just kind of I just can't explain it um, anyway so I did the healing then about 15 minutes later I get called back and basically the horse had decided to lay down and I was really privileged to be with it when it passed um, so by me learning about that past life helped me in this lifetime and you know a client of mine see sometimes what you think might be the issue in this lifetime from a that's you've been affected by past life may not be what you think so i had a client who was eating constantly eating and someone had said to her but you were starved in a past life but in the past life you were starved somewhere that's why you're eating in this lifetime so they came to see me so we could resolve this eating um so 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 that they wouldn't continue eating this lifetime so we took i took her back and we went back about 200 yeah about 200 years and she wasn't starved she lived a sedentary sedentary life um quite well off um you know plenty of food on the table had actually quite a boring life didn't do anything um that she wanted to do in that lifetime you know wife mother you know just kind of like let things slip anyway when we um we got to death and she was in the in-between life where she looked back on her life her biggest regret from that life was that she didn't do anything she procrastinated she just let life pass her by which translated into the issue in this lifetime was that when she was eating it's because she was bored you know there was lots of stuff she wanted to do lots of projects but instead of doing them oh, I'll do that another day she'd eat you know she'd snack so because we went back and we looked at that past life um, she learned from it and she brought the energy back she actually cut down on her eating and she's now actually doing some of the things that she wanted to do and the benefit is she's lost weight as well. So it just goes to show when you go back how that can affect you, um, you know, how that can change your life in, in the present. So you can actually move forward and get on with your life without those past issues um, affecting you in this lifetime. Now, as, as you said, I mentioned death. Um, and when I do past life regression, I, when you go back to a past life, unless it's in this lifetime, then if it's a past lifetime we do take you to the point of death and you go through death into the in-between time and to be quite truthful most people have a straightforward death they just fall asleep you know there's no um violence or anything like that it's only a very small percentage and with that we quickly go through that straight into the in-between life so you, so you don't really experience it so that's kind of like how past life um works so obviously you know any questions please do um ask if, if you want clarification on anything um and I'll, I'll i'll try and answer the questions for you so what i thought i would do is actually take you into a past life now i'm not going to take you into a past life to deal with any issues that affect you in this lifetime because that is really for a personal one-to-one -one because we can get deep into that um you know because i can ask the right questions 
um, for you to get the answers. Whereas obviously doing a general one, I don't want to be doing that because obviously we can't get into the depths and we don't know what's going to come up. So what I'm going to do is take you back into a past life where you were at your most happiest. I mean, why not? Why not go back to a past life where you were the most happiest you've ever been and bring all that energy back into the present so you can bring all those feelings of happiness back now? Perfect way of doing it. So um, as usual, we have to give the disclaimer. Please do not do this if you are driving, operating heavy machinery. You know, make sure you've, um, you know, you've switched off your mobile phones. You're not um, on the computer or anything like that. You're not going to be disturbed. And because this is a recording that is going out live, you can, and you can watch it at a later date, you can always watch this. Um, you can always do this past life regression at a time more suitable for you. That's what technology, you know, how amazing is technology these days? So what I want you to do is to get yourselves nice and comfortable. And remember, if when we're doing this, you feel you need to itch or move, please do so. Just keep your eyes closed and just continue listening um, to, to my voice. So if you're ready, close your eyes and take a deep breath in. And as you breathe in, just give yourself permission to totally relax. And on your out breath, just release everything that doesn't need to be in this space at this time. Take another deep breath in, breathing in relaxation and giving yourself permission to relax. And on the out breath, just letting go of anything, any stresses that no longer need to be in your life now. And just allow your breathing to become natural in your own flow. Just knowing that every in-breath relaxes you more and more. And every out-breath releases all stress and tension. And now see, fully imagine or know a beautiful golden light above you. It's a beautiful golden light of peace and relaxation and safety. And just feel this light, this beautiful golden light, fill every single part of you as it comes into your aura, your etheric body. It's like that golden glow around you from a ready break advert. That golden light goes into your body and fills every part of you physically, mentally and emotionally. Every cell and every membrane and gap between every cell and every membrane just relaxing more and more. And now this beautiful golden light as it comes down, fills your whole head and you feel your whole head relax. You feel your temples relax, your brow relax, your ears relax. Your eyes so relaxed and as you think about relaxing, so you do relax. Your nose, your cheeks, your mouth, your jaw, how wonderfully relaxed your jaw feels at the moment. As this feeling of relaxation moves down into your neck and you feel all your neck muscles just totally relax. Your throat relax. As this relaxation moves down into your shoulders and you feel your shoulders relax, like warm sunshine just massaging your shoulders. As this feeling of relaxation moves further down into your upper arms, your elbows, your lower arms, your wrists, your hands and your fingers, all totally relaxing. And as you feel your arms relaxing, just allow this relaxation to move into your upper body. As you feel your chest muscles relax, your stomach muscles relax, the whole of your back relax. 
your spine relaxing vertebrae by vertebrae by vertebrae. As this relaxation moves further down and you feel your hips relax, your pelvis relax, your buttocks relax as you sink deeper down into the chair, the floor, the bed. As this relaxation now moves down into your thighs, your knees, your calves, your shins, your ankles, your feet and your toes, your whole body just totally relaxed. And as you feel this relaxation, I want you now to engage your imagination and imagine that you're standing outside a beautiful mansion on a warm summer's day with a beautiful blue sky, maybe one or two wispy white clouds. Standing outside this beautiful mansion at the top of ten wide steps that lead down into a beautiful garden. A beautiful garden of your own design and making. And in a moment you're going to walk down these steps. Each step taking you deeper down into relaxation. <clears throat> so... Start walking down the stairs now, 10. Going deeper down the stairs, 9. Deeper down the stairs, 8. Deeper down the stairs, 7. Each step relaxing you more and more. Deeper down the stairs, 6. Deeper down the stairs, 5. Deeper down the stairs, 4. It's relaxation becoming more and more. Deeper down the stairs, three. Going deeper down the stairs, two. All the way down the stairs, one. As you step off into this beautiful garden of your own design and making. And there could be neat flower beds. It could be a wild garden. There could be crazy paving. There could be grass. There could be anything you want in this garden. You may notice butterflies or insects. As you walk and wander through your garden, this beautiful garden of your own design and making. And as you're wandering through this garden, you notice that at the end of the garden, there seems to be some kind of machine, maybe like a TARDIS or a DeLorean, or maybe just a spaceship. And you walk towards this object at the end of your garden. And as you get close, you realise that this capsule is here to take you back to a past life, a past life where you were the most happiest, whether that was 100, 200, 300, further back in time, in another planet, on another dimension. And you know and you feel excited that you're going to go back, see and experience this past life where you were the most happiest you have ever been. So you step inside this capsule, whatever form it may take. And as you sit down or stand inside this capsule, you notice in front of you a control panel. And it's a control panel that has one button and a screen. A screen that is currently showing the, this, this year, today's date and this year. And you know that when you press that button, you will go back in time and you will watch the date on the dial go further and further back until you get to a past life where you were at your most happiest. So now as you settle inside your capsule, you press that button. And as that 
button goes on, those numbers start going backwards. So you start leaving this year, going back to last year, going back further, 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, 50 years, 60 years, 100 years, maybe going further back, 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 back in time, back towards a past life where you are the most happiest, whether it's on this planet or another planet or another dimension. Just going back and back and back until suddenly you stop and you look at the dial in front of you and it tells you what date, what year you've gone back to or maybe even what planet you have gone back to. And you're very excited now to see where you have landed. So you open the capsule and you step out. And as you step out, just take a moment to look around. What do you see? What do you feel? What do you know? If you can't see or feel anything, what do you know? Just go with whatever comes first to your mind. You may see it, you may hear it, you may smell it, you may just know. And as you do, just look down at your feet and from your feet, gradually work up your body. What are you wearing? What do you look like? Are you male? Are you female? Are you energy? Are you some other kind of being? Just take a moment to get used to yourself in whichever way, whichever form you are in this past lifetime. And now start to explore this past lifetime, this past lifetime where you're at your most happiest. Who are you there with? What are you doing? What is your life like? Why are you so happy in this lifetime? What's so special about this lifetime that is so important for your happiness now in this in your current lifetime? So just going to leave you for a moment or two to explore everything in this past lifetime where you were the most happiest who you are, who you were, what you were doing, who was with you. And just take your time to explore. And if you've gone back and you found yourself just energy, just enjoy that energy that you are, that feeling of happiness.
and now it's almost time for you to come back so just take a moment to really tap into that happy feeling the happiness of that lifetime why you're feeling so happy just allow that to fill you maybe imagine it as a color and just see yourself being washed with that color you can turn it up make it brighter if you want that happiness that feeling of happiness and now it's time to step back into the capsule and as you get yourself comfortable in your capsule you know now that when you press that button it will take you forwards in time bringing you back to your current lifetime so if you're ready now let's press that button and you start going coming forwards in time coming back from the past coming back to the present you know 100 years ago 50 years ago 20 years ago 10 years ago 5 years ago all the way back to your present time here in this lifetime now and your capsule stops and as you look on the dial you see that it is today's date and year and as your capsule door swings open you step out back into your beautiful garden and the sun is still shining and it's still a beautiful warm day and you walk back through your garden bringing back that feeling of happiness and joy as you walk back towards the steps and in a moment we're going to walk up these steps from one to ten each step bringing you back to the present remembering your journey and that happiness that's now inside you so we start walking up the stairs one coming further up the stairs two further up the stairs three further up the stairs four further up the stairs five coming fully back into the present into the here and now further up the stairs six further up the stairs seven further up the stairs eight further up the stairs nine start to wiggle fingers and toes all the way to the top of the stairs ten open your eyes be back be fully present if you need to drink some water and i'll just give you a moment for you to fully orientate yourself back into the here and now so how did you find that please do let me know um either publicly or privately um because it's nice to know how people, how the journeys went and what people experienced from them. And obviously you might not want to write at this particular moment in time, you might actually want to give it time to sink in, which is absolutely fine. And that was just a brief um, past life regression. When I work one-to-one -one with people, it's a little bit more in depth and I, get to help guide you through your journey so you can experience more understand why you experience those things and as I said it can work on issues that are affecting you in the present so as we've i've taken you into the past i will actually now do an angel card reading for you so um, as usual i'll cleanse and bless the cards So what does everyone who's watching this now or at a later date need to make for their highest good at this moment in time? What does everyone who's watching this now or at a later date need to make for their highest good at this moment in time? So I'm going to push this now, I need to know. What does they need to make for their highest good at this moment in time? So let's see what cards come out today. So today we have got Finding Sanctuary opening to your spiritual source so hopefully you can see that card there you go so let's have a look um so so basically what this card is um it's upside down 
uh, what this card, no, it wasn't even stuck around. What this card is saying to me is that you need to allow yourself to open up to your own gifts, your own spiritual talents. You know, when you go within you inside yourself and you look deep inside yourself, maybe with past life regression or future life progression or with meditation, you go in and open up your spiritual gifts, your reason for being here, you, you know, past life, future life meditation. If you ask the right questions, you can find out why you're here, what you were, what you were supposed to be doing. And really now it's time for everyone to start opening up to your spiritual source, to being who you really are meant to, here, meant to be. So start taking that time, whether it's um, using therapists like myself or online um, guided meditations. You know, it's time now to really start opening up to your spiritual sources. And you do that by being your complete self, going in and seeing your, yourself as you truly are, as you were truly meant to be. So I hope that card uh, um, made sense to you. It may be that you have your own interpretation of the card. And as usual, as I say, that's absolutely fine because this card was drawn for you, um, for what you need to know um, in your life now. So I'd like to thank you so much for watching this. Um, and again, I would like to invite you to share this video as I'm sure there are more women who feel lost and want to get clear on their destiny and people who want to experience that happiness of a past life and bring the energy back to be happy in this lifetime. And if you have reached that crossroads in your life and you need help finding your destiny and getting to come on your path, then I would love to be that guide for you. Please reach out and connect with me and we can arrange a free 20 to 30 minute uh, video uh, call where we can find out more about each other, I can educate you on what I do, how I can help you, and we can take it from there. And if you're interested in future life progression, so you're a therapist who wants to um, add to what they're already doing, um, you want to increase your knowledge, or you want to do something that you're thinking, oh, maybe I want to start my own business, then I am teaching people I am training people in future life progression. Um, it's a three day certified course that's taking place on the 15th, 16th and 17th of November at the Claverton Hotel in Blackheath. Um, at the moment, there's an early bird offer of 495 pounds for the full three day certified course. And it is intensive. It is three full days of you learning, practicing, um, future life progression, past life regression, as well as learning business tips um, with regards to setting up businesses. Um, but the early bird offer is only lasts until the 30th of September when it goes back to its original price. So I'll post the link below um, if you want to find out more details, um, you know, or you can phone me or contact me. Now, next week, my guest will be Dawn Del Vecchio, and I hope I pronounced that right. I'll clarify that with her close of the time. And she'll be talking about how she supports women in embodying their spiritual and world gifts. So please tune in next Wednesday, the 25th of September at 8 p.m. UK time. And I will see you all next week. Please, as said, do let me know how you found this. And I've either answered or I will be answering the questions. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye.